All right, so waiting on parts. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the oil flow um, on the uh, 18V engine. Uh, I specifically mentioned it's an 18V because it's got the five five main bearings. Uh, so the oil pump goes right here. We have I did another video about the oil pump and everything and how I prepped this uh, this engine block for the oil pump. But the oil from the oil pump goes. I mean, the oil pump sits up, up, up on top up here, and then the oil will, goes down this little hole right here. This is where the beginning of your oil pressure starts. Um, so once you've uh, determined that your oil, your oil pump is, is making pressure, this is where it's going. Now you want to start troubleshooting any kind of oil pressure problems, this is where you start. Uh, that runs down this little, this little chute right here to this hole right here this is where your um uh uh high pre your high pressure um oil valve goes so there's a, a a little valve here i got it right here this valve uh screws in right in there and then um it um it has a pressure on it you can feel it with your fingers uh, how much pressure that it, it takes um, and this little V I don't know if you can see the V on this valve um, it makes a seal with a, a seat inside there I'll get the uh, um, the other camera and get a quick picture of that that seal in there um, allows the, the oil uh, to proceed and it will go down through this angle to the to the next the next little step here but um, if the pressure is over pressure then this spring is activated and it allows the, the oil to come back out through this little hole right here um, and the idea behind that is you don't want to go over pressure uh, if there's a leak you don't want to uh, disturb the engine and you don't want to blow up anything so it allows the the oil pressure to be to, to go right back down into the um, in back into the oil pan here so that's how that works the oil comes from here goes into here where then it moves down that way if this valve um, uh, allows it otherwise the valve will be compressed and then the oil comes out this hole right here so um, right off the bat, there's a couple places where you can see where you might have uh, some oil pressure problems. So first off, if you have the wrong gasket, you might be constricting this hole right here, right? Um, so when you put your oil pump on, make sure that you have no constrictions on this little hole. The second thing is this little valve, obviously when it's closed, you'll have good pressure. But if this valve, I don't know, if, I'm not getting a very good focus on this. Um, you can see the wear on here. If this is worn to the point where uh, oil is seeping past it, you're going to lose oil pressure right here. Um, and likewise, if it's uh, if it's stuck and now and you get over pressure, um, then the uh, you're going to have problems with high pressure. So um, I think I'm going to replace this. It's not that expensive. I'm just gonna, I'm not going to replace the spring. I'm just going to replace this head piece. You can see it has some really kind of weird wear in here, um, and so I'm not really happy with the way that that gets really thin right there. Um, so we're going to have a look at the seat, and we're going to have a look at. Uh, I'll just replace this outright. Um, and so the next thing is, where does it go? Right. So I put a piece of tape on here. There's a gallery that goes through here, the, through the back of the engine, um, and then that goes to the. Let me go this way. This little outlet right here. So this adapter will go out, um, and it loops around into. Uh, if you have an oil cooler, it'll go to the front of the engine and come back. But it comes back here to the filter. This is where the oil filter uh, interface is. 
Uh, this oil filter interface then has some holes in here that feed this gallery. This gallery right here, I think it probably stops right there, but they have the gallery so they can drill it out. You know, there's a machining thing. Um, but uh, this then goes, let me roll it back the other way, back to the main bearings. Okay, and so when you get to this point where it's, it's feeding the main bearings, um, I have an excerpt from a previous video that will show you how uh, the main bearings, they, uh, they feed through these little holes, they feed the, the connecting rod. So there you have the new bearings in there. You can see they have a, they have a little notch that it goes into. Really easy to do it right. <laughs> The important thing here is just cleanliness. Keep everything clean, no hair, no dust, no no dirt. Everything has to be absolutely clean when you're messing with this. You just want to set these in place, make sure they're nice and flush all the way across. So uh, the oil pressure comes through the main bearing and then it feeds that, feeds those connecting rods through the main bearings. Um, <clears throat> So uh, on this, um, on the back bearing here, there's a there's two holes where the the main bearing um, feeds the back of. I'm gonna turn it back this way again. You can see it feeds the back of the camshaft. Now, up in here, I need to put a light in here. So there's the, there's your cam. So uh, the main bearing feeds this uh, this camshaft uh, bearing right here, and then this hole right here, as the cam spins around, will take the pressure that the main bearing is feeding it and spurt um, up this little shaft right here, and then that comes out on the head. This little hole right here is where the oil comes up from that main bearing, if it feeds up to this point right here in the head. Now, on the head, the place where that comes up is right here. Right here, it comes up and it meets on to the rocker arms um, on, this, on this end right here. And you can see there's a, a place where that meets up goes into the rocker shaft that goes up this this pedestal this last the end pedestal here and that goes and feeds across the rocker shaft if you can see I'll, I'll compress one of these springs so you can see oops what did it do here we go you can see that the, the rocker shaft feeds each of these individual rockers with its own little exit hole. And uh, those exit holes feed each rocker, which has a little squirter hole. You can see a little squirter hole right there that will, in turn, drip a small amount of oil out onto the end of the rocker arm um, to hit the, uh, the valve tip tappets right here and keep everything lubricated, each individual arm on its own. So that that is <laughs> from the oil pump to the oil filter back through to the main gallery through this rear main seal or the re rear main bearing um, that rear main bearing um, feeds the um, the head uh, through that rear camshaft you can that rear camshaft hole um, it goes from here to there and goes up to the other engine. So um, each of these, uh, uh, the, the main bearings one, two, and three, or one, one, three, and five, have one of these little bypass holes, and that's why uh, you know in when you see the the main bearings, how they have kind of a wider section here, and each bearing has a little slot in the bottom. That's to feed its secondary uh, components. So in the in the center one, the center one feeds 
through the through the, from the from the main gallery across the main bearing beats the connecting rods and then it comes this direction gets into this gallery right here and whoops no I got that wrong feeds this gallery right here which goes to um, the gears that have gone full circle all the way back to the gears at that um, uh, run on the camshaft the, the uh, and those gears that are uh, for the, the oil pump itself and for the distributor shaft. So the center, the center bearing oils, the oil pump and the center and the, uh, and the distributor shaft uh, gears. So what's the front one do, right? Well, the front one, the front main bearing as it goes through the little slot, it goes out let me get my little flashlight again. You can see that that bearing comes here to um, the front camshaft. And this one doesn't have a, uh, a second hole that passes from one to the next, but this gallery right here is drilled out and it feeds this hole right here. So. When you're putting all your gaskets on in the front and you're jacking with the uh, uh, the timing chain cover, don't get any goo in there. Don't get any kind of gasket sealer or anything to fill this hole because this hole feeds the idler, uh, the timing chain idler. So uh, it goes it goes through here and feeds the timing chain idler right here through this hole. Uh, so each of those. Each of those gaskets, um, you just got to make sure that you don't clog these holes, these holes right here. And um, you know, when you put these bearings in, they have to be uh, configured properly so that you don't you don't um, clog that uh, those access holes. But um, the main bearings feed the camshaft, and the camshaft feeds uh, its secondary its secondary components. Um, so that is. It in a nutshell, that's the uh, the oil flow um, for the. This is a 1977 18V MGB engine. Real quick recap. I'll run through it again. Pressure out of the pump goes to the high pressure relief valve right here. High pressure relief valve allows that oil to go through the back of the engine through a gallery out here which goes to the the oil filter the oil filter then feeds the main bearings the main bearings have uh, secondary connections to the connecting rods and to the camshaft at three locations the the one in the rear feeds the the head through the top here the one in the center feeds the distributor and the oil uh, oil pump gear and the one in the front feeds the timing chain and the timing chain idler. There you go.